Um, hello, Year 10 or Year 11. I'm making a fool of myself again um, for you because I want to be able to show you something that will be very difficult to show you just in a book. And uh, Brother Zonami, one of our young Salesian brothers, is cameraman for us today. And we're looking at popular piety. That means prayers, prayers that Catholics have used, have developed over the years. And these prayers are very popular with them. So the first one over here, you won't have seen this before. It's called a monstrance. Can you see it's a very unusual uh, looking object. It's a monstrance, it means to show. And if you can see, there's a round circle in the middle there. And this isn't consecrated, so we've not uh, asked the Holy Spirit to change that into the body of Christ. So I can use this. This, once it's been uh, consecrated, and we believe it's the body of Christ, we will put it in here, and then I'll put it in uh, from behind. And then when people come to church, they'll come on their own and they will kneel. So for example, I would kneel here. Other people would kneel in the pews. And because we can see the body of Christ, it's like us looking at Jesus and Jesus looking at us. And it's a wonderful, wonderful way to pray because you can just be in silence and you can tell them about the worst day you've had, terrible experiences you've gone through. Maybe you're really cut up and bitter about something. You can come and express that in silence to the Lord and you can do it better because we see the body of Christ looking at us and us looking at him. Or maybe you just want to celebrate something joyful. You've just got married and uh, husbands and wives will come and silently they'll kneel in church and pray to Jesus. And that is called Eucharistic, remember Eucharist from the Mass, Eucharistic adoration. You adore, you adore Jesus Christ. And this is called a thoroughbred. Now it's empty today, but normally I'll put incense in here, which smells really nice. I really love it. And smoke comes up here, gets up your nose sometimes, and you think, oh, holy smoke. But you then do this, and you do this again, because you see the incense rising, and it's kind of making a nice um, smell from there for God. The incense, think of the three wise men. Um, one of them brings uh, frankincense, incense, the whole idea, it links to God and the smoke goes up a bit like our prayers going up to God. So that is known as Eucharistic adoration, okay? And it's different, it's different. If um, the body of Christ is in the tabernacle, you cannot see the body of Christ because it's behind this closed door. But here you can see the body of Christ and it's beautiful. And in school every Thursday, 2.30 to 3 o'clock, people come into our school chapel and you're welcome to come and you can come and spend 30 seconds or you can spend the full half an hour. It's up to you. Now, have a look around the church here. We've got 14 stations of the cross. This is known as the Stations of the Cross and they've developed this prayer where you will come and stand before the first station of the cross like I'm doing over here and you will just remember Jesus being falsely accused and falsely, um, I've forgotten the word for it, falsely sentenced to death and they'll just come and stand here and pray silently and then they will genuinely, okay, it's a sign of mark of respect and then they'll move to the next one. Jesus carrying the cross. This is before Simon of Cyrene um, gets to it. Who is going to come and do that? It's someone who has experienced tragedy in their lives. It's someone who's struggling with life and cannot make sense of it. Or maybe during Lent, when we're building up to Easter, we think of the sacrifice of Jesus. People will come and they'll do this, and they'll do it silently. And it's private prayer. It's popular piety. It's popular because many people do it. It's piety. It's a holy way of praying. Guess what? The camera cut off. Maybe I was doing too much talking. So anyway, let's uh, move on. This is the rosary. 
okay? And Catholics have developed this prayer, this popular piety, to pray the rosary, you do one Our Father on the separate bead, and then ten Hail Marys, and then you have a glory bead, and you do that five times on the rosary. Now, um, it's a prayer linked to Mary, but it's not just about Mary. It tells about the life of Jesus and Mary. And when you're praying it, you kind of meditate, you think deeply. And so every morning before I come to school, I do one decade of the rosary because I have a short attention span, so I don't do all five. But Brother Zonamin does um, all five every evening. So, you know, you start praying it but then your mind wanders and you begin to think about people like you. Sometimes I pray uh, for you, sometimes it's for me, sometimes it's for family, all sorts of people. But because you're praying the same prayer, 10 Hail Marys, your mind can uh, just turn around and think of all those people you need to pray for. So the Holy Rosary, it's about Jesus and Mary, looking at their lives and kind of thinking, yep, okay, that's the way they lived. And it kind of inspires you to try and live a really good kind of life yourself. So popular piety, the rosary, Our Lady keeps her beady eye on you, and you've got the Stations of the Cross for people who are really struggling in life and they can identify with the sufferings of Jesus and they pray that um, on their own. And then here, Eucharistic Adoration. Okay, we adore, we adore the Lord, we adore um, Jesus, the body of Jesus, and it gives us a time to reflect and to come close to him. Brother Zonami, thank you very much. Bye, folks.